Welcome to the channel, and today we're going to be decorating this tiered tray for Valentine's Day. I think I'm going to decorate this a couple of ways, but I'm going to start with some more traditional Valentine colors, and then we'll do one that's more muted and natural, because I always like to do some muted and natural, because that's how I decorate myself. Now, I'm going to start by using this little uh, doily and you don't have to have one this big it's just the size that I had on hand and it, I feel like it just kind of helps your items stand out more and I don't know about you guys but doilies make me think of Valentine's Day and maybe because the old Valentine's had the um, the kind of a doily look around the edges uh, but anyway to me it just looks more for Valentine's Day uh, so we're going to put some a balance here in the back. We're going to kind of ground this back and give it a good background uh, because this is going to be one of those trays that goes against the wall or in the corner and I'm not going to be decorating the other side. So now we're going to start balancing our items. Uh, we're going to start with this larger picture here and put it there in the front. Um, don't know that it's going to need to be lifted up. We may have to go back and lift it up, but right now we're going to leave it at that level. Now, I have this picture, and I'm going to use it in both of my tear trays because I think it's going to work for the one with color and the one without because we could just add color other ways. So I'm going to put that there, and that kind of balances that bottom and puts you know, some heaviness on both sides. Okay, now, I think we'll add a picture over here on this side. Now, when I'm doing it on separate tiers like this, I like to, uh, to turn them different ways. Now, if I were going to decorate with a couple of pictures together, I might would just kind of stagger them like that and do them the same way. It's just stagger the heights of them. But I'm not going to do that. That's going to be too much in that. So, since I'm putting it up here, I'm going to... Just turn it the other direction. So, now we have some brown over here. And we have white here and white here. And so, you don't have to do that. But that just kind of helps me to balance it, uh, these items to kind of get in my mind what colors I have on each side. So, I have this little driftwood heart. I've used it in another video. But I, I really like that heart. And it kind of gives the balance that I need there. So, this top, other than a little bit of greenery, maybe this may be enough. Uh, we'll see. But I'm going to put a little of this lens here. Now, you'll learn, if you haven't watched me, that I really love the lens here from Walmart. And, um... It's very affordable uh, because it's just 97 cents for, for a, a stem of it. And I think this here is maybe a third of a stem. Um, you have to play with these items and you're going to have things fall and, and uh, you're just going to have to keep placing. Uh, I have some... Um, some wire that I could wire that on with. Let me see if I can find some wire over here. And just use some floral wire to wire that to the, because if not, I'm going to be fixing this issue on many occasions, I'm sure. So here is some floral wire. So I'm just going to wire it to the Trying not to squish my flowers, uh, but I, I do need something to hold that, so I think I'll work just enough to make it hold too. Okay, there we go. And I can fix that, so there we go. It's not going to fall now. We're not going to be fighting with that little wreath. So, uh, you could use, um, this is a small wreath. You could use a little candle ring. Um, but that size, I feel like I need that little bit, a little bit more of the size on that one. And then we'll add just a little rosette there. 
And I think that's going to be plenty to, uh, to give us the color and the balance we need on that top. Uh, but now we need to move on to the bottom. And for the bottom, we need something up here. Let's see what we'll do. Uh, oh, we need some purple down here. So we're going to get these little, these little, I sell these at my store. And uh, I think that this won't be too large to put on this bottom. We're going to try this and see if this works. And it will help hold that little picture up that keeps wanting to fall. Yes, I think that's going to work. So we'll put that there. And then um, put some greenery over here. Um, I, could, I don't want to put that lens here because we have it right here. And I don't want it right here too. So we'll use this evergreen. And evergreen is perfectly okay this time of year because it's still in there. So, um, I have some left over from Christmas and, uh, okay, so we're going to, I don't like to do things in twos like the flowers. I want to, I want to, uh, I feel like it's, it's, especially when you're going with a tiered tray where the lar bottom is larger, just put that in two. You could put three, but I think three, let's try. Yeah, three is way too much. So that little bit there. It's just enough, I think, to um, to balance that. But now we need something back here because although that's not going to show from the back, uh, we want from the front, we want it to look like it's complete. So we'll just take a stem, a full stem, of this lens gear. And let's see if I can make this work. Um, I don't want to cut this off because I may use this stem somewhere else. Okay, so if we do it right there and then over on the other side. Then that's, I think that will be just enough to even that out. Okay. And I have it too much out on the other side, so let's just see. Yes, I think that's going to work. And then I still, I don't like this ugly center thing here showing. So I need to put something in there. Let's see what we'll put. Uh, maybe just some more of this, another sprig of this. Uh, I think that might be just what we need. Yes. And that's really all that there is to that one. And I think that we can call that one complete. How can we change this out uh, to be more of a neutral before? So we know this needs to go. And I've wired that on, so I need to take that off there. We know that definitely needs to go. And then um, all of our color needs to go. So let's see what we can do here. So we don't want these. Although I love these in this tiered tray, we don't need that, and we don't need this purple. So now we're left with, we might have to move this around, but we're going to try to uh, just work with what we have here. So there is my sign. I like that that balance is back there, although we may have to move it somewhat because we're going to be decorating the back also. So, um, okay, there's, there. So that bottom is gonna work, I think. Okay, so here is our neutral look here. But now we're gonna need to turn this around and um, add some more height in the back. And there's that stem that I don't like showing right there in the way. Like that. Okay. 
Now, we'll turn it around and see what we've got in the back. Kind of got a mess. So we're going to fix that. We are going to add, let's see. Now we can add a picture to the back. Uh, so, uh, let's see, where will I add my picture? Maybe, maybe we can go with one right here and stagger it with that one. Okay, if we do that though, we're going to have to pull that tie up a little bit. So, let's do that. We'll put us some discs. I use these little wooden discs in different sizes to use as risers on these trays because you don't have room for anything substantial at all. And, and those, those are, are, work really good for that for me. Okay, so we want that. Let's turn it back around and make sure this still works. So we're going to bring that high up right here. Let's turn these over here. Okay, so there we go. It's still going to work, but we moved that height up a little bit. That way we can stagger this little one down behind it. Because it's going to have to be, have a rise right here at some point because it's so small. But I don't want it to get in the way of, of um, I don't want it to, uh, yeah, there we go. We've got a different we can stagger that now and turn it in the same direction. And that adds. Okay, we've got these stems here, but that's not a problem. We're going to cover that up. Uh, so we've got the heart back here in the back. And then um, I need something here. Definitely need something there. So let's see what we'll do. I have this candle. And it kind of has that look. Let's see. Yeah, we'll put that candle there. Or maybe we'll put the candle over here. Let's put the candle right here. And it needs a riser as well. So, give me a couple of discs. I'm going to run out of these discs, it looks like. Okay. So, there's me a couple of discs there. And that raises that candle up there. Uh, I'll do a tutorial later on ways of dressing these candles up. You know, you can get these little um, battery operated candles, which I use a lot. And, um, okay. And that'll, and it, you know, but they're just kind of plain, so that dresses them up. Well, I've got some really fun, easy ways to dress those up. Okay. So now, I'm going to put this little basket, I think, over here. Now, here again, we've got to see that this looks right from the back. And I think it'll work because I'm going to put some floral in it. So I think it'll work to do that. Um, I'm not going to wire that on here, though, because otherwise we might get some movement there. We don't want that. So we're going to wire this little basket on here. Put that down in there. Okay. So that helps sturdy it up some. I don't usually worry a whole lot about sturdy because where I keep my tear tray, it's not, it doesn't get much, much traffic. People don't really bother with it much, but, um, but I know most do, so a lot of people put them on islands. Let's try that. Let's try that little uh, um, the little beaded castle there. Okay. Uh, you'll have to excuse me. I get distracted, and and my my mouth doesn't work with my mind. <laughs> And so I just kind of zone out sometimes when I'm trying to get something to work. Okay, so there's that. That's good. So now, um, we're going to have to put something in this basket. So, I need to hide my wire there too. Okay, so on, in the basket, I'm, I've got this little, I'm not sure what kind of flower this is, but I think the colors are going to work. So, let's these little 
There we go, in that basket. And that adds some color there, okay? Yeah, I think I like that. Okay, and I would kind of like some more brown here, so let's do this other little tan heart. Let's see which side I like. We'll do the other tan heart there. And see, that's gonna get that back looking the way we want it. Now, I think I'm gonna have a favorite side and it's probably gonna be the one I started with. It usually is. Um, but now we gotta fill in some greenery. Uh, I don't wanna get too much going on, but you know, we've got these empty spaces that kinda of have to be hidden. So, it helps to cut these in little sprigs like this. Um, I don't know how many sprigs I got from this one um, just one stem, but I think several. So there's that. We're going to need something right here because I have, don't want the back of that to show much. That little sign. And then we'll put a little bit right in here. Let's see. Doing these videos from the side like this are a little bit hard. I'm trying to stay out of the video. Um, so you may see my head at times and see how badly I need color right now, <laughs> to be honest. Um, but okay, so there's that, and I think that's going to be fine for that bottom shelf. Maybe put a little uh, pine cone. That'll work. Let's put that little pine cone right there. And then uh, we do need a little bit right up here. So we'll put a little spray of something right here. And I think, let's see. Yeah. Just a little spray there and maybe another pine cone. Let's try that. good and we have our heart here uh, but again my favorite side is going to be the other side I need to prop this up a little bit more I just noticed that so we're going to pull him out and see if we can find something else to prop with because I think I ran out of the little disc no I've got one right here okay so there's another little disc and put him right there and that prop that up where it needs to be so there we go on that, we're good there. And now we're back up here. So we almost have this finished. Now we have the, uh, the uh, evergreen in the back. So we're gonna put a, a little sprig up here for two so that we kind of balance that color out. And there we go. I think that that's going to be good. Uh, we might put a little bit of greenery right here because we've got this brown on brown. I don't know if I care for that. So um, we'll add a little bit more of the evergreen up here just to balance that out more. And I think that that works. I think that we could put something right here. Uh, let's see what we'll do. I like this little candle I got at the Dollar Tree. Yeah, that'll work. But I need another disc, so we're gonna find a way to prop that up. Now with these little trays, you can improvise and use whatever you can find because obviously it's gonna be hidden. But I say that, but I'm struggling to find something here. Just for this video, I'm going to see if I can make that work. And there it is. Hope you weren't too distracted by the noise in the background. I noticed that my Roomba had 
had started and um, we've had it a while and it's getting a little loud but still does the job so we haven't replaced it yet uh, also I noticed that I'm getting some echoing in this room that isn't finished but uh, we'll work on that later I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that I've inspired you to do your own tiered tray for Valentine's Day or any occasion let me know in the comments what you thought of this video and uh, which look you prefer. Uh, thank you to all those who have su subscribed to my channel. And uh, thank you for watching and I hope that you have a great day.